Professor Haim Cohen is the director of the Segal Healthy Human Longevity Center at Bar Ilan University, where he focuses much of his research on the SIRT6 protein. In May 2021, he and his team published a paper showing a 30% increase in lifespan in a mouse model by overexpressing SIRT6. And with that, let me start the interview. So, uh, Professor Cohen, you are head of the Molecular Mechanisms of Aging Laboratory at Bar Ilan University. So, welcome to Modern Health Span. It's a pleasure to have you on our channel today. Hi, how are you? So, Professor Cohen, could you explain? So, why did you why did you start studying to Sirtuins, and within the Sirtuins, why particularly did uh, Sirt six interest you? Okay, okay so. I, I first started to work on sirtuin, not on SIRT6. Mm. That was the beginning of my study when I worked on another protein called SIRT1. Mm -hmm. But that was when I was at Harvard Medical School in the Davidson Clare lab as a postdoc. And the reason why we focus on sirtuin is because what we, could, we like to call lower organism, which means it's all simple organism like yeast and flies and worms. In this organism, these animals, you see that this family of protein is important for aging. So how do you know it? You're doing something that's called color restriction. Color restriction means that you take the calorie, and if, I'm sure that all the audience heard about it, you cut it by 30%. And by this, you extend the lifespan by 30%, 25%, depending what, what is the level of change in the calorie that you intake, the intake of the calorie. And in yeast, once you're doing so, you can extend the lifespan of yeast by 30%, some people say even more. Same in flies, same in almost every animal. But we found in the, in previously that if you don't have sirtuins in simple organism, you cannot extend the lifespan of this organism by color restriction. So this means that you must have sirtuins in order to get the, effect, the positive effect of color restriction. Now in mammalian and in humans specifically, there are seven sirtuins. It's a big family, it's not a single one. You have seven sirtuins, they're called 31, 32, up to 37. And I, I work at the past on 30, 31, but then I decided to move to 36. And the reason why I started to originally to move to, to work on 36, because I just opened my, my, my new lab, I moved back from the US to Israel, and I wanted to open a field which I will be a main figure, not somebody which is you know, to compete with everybody else. But also, I knew two things about 36. First, that within the, cell, in the, within the cell, it's localized to the nucleus. And I know a lot about what's happening in the nucleus. So I thought maybe it's a bit good to look what's happening when 36 is going to the nucleus, what exactly is doing over there. This is one reason. Another reason is because we have some hints that 36 is involved in a DNA repair. And I like a lot the DNA repair mechanism. So that's the, the second reason why I decided to focus on SIRT6. Later on, we did experiment in Israel already that we did, we took mice and red, and we did color restriction with these mice and with this red. This is a condition that now these reds can now live additional, additional one year. And then we found out that again, the level of SIRT6 is raising once you're doing color restriction, suggesting again, the third six is involved in the aging of mammalian. And this is how everything began. That was the beginning point. So the calorie, the mechanism of calorie restriction working is partly through sirtuin 6. It's, it's very difficult to prove it. I would say one mm. very simple reason why it's difficult to prove it. Um, and I tell you why I believe it's correct, but why it's difficult, we say it from the beginning. Mm. If you don't have 36, and you are a, if you're a mouse that is, that is deficient for 36, you die in four weeks. If you are a human which is deficient for 36, you don't bone, you die mm -hmm. during pregnancy. So you can do experiment that you cut 36, delete it, and then see what's happened to color restriction. Obviously you will die. So it's difficult to prove it by this way. So how, right? So how do we know that 36 indeed mediate the effect of color restriction? So what we did, we did several things. One of the first, first things that we did, we checked all the genes, the change in color restriction, and all the genes, the change in 36 when you overexpress it. 
And this was exactly the same cheese. So now we know that Sir 6 is doing exactly what scalar restriction is doing. That's why we, we think that Sir 6 is mediating the effect of scalar restriction. The other uh, reason we, uh, which are associated with this is because the mechanism of scalar restriction, specifically in metabolism, is activating, are regulated by 36. We have increase in 36, and once we have the increase in 36 under color restriction, it's activate these pathways, and by this we get the extension of life. Can you talk about cert 6 a little bit more in terms of generally within the body, what, what is its primary okay. function? Yeah. We start from the, like, uh, the biochemistry, uh, biochemistry part of it, okay? So we all know that you have RNA, and then from the, you have DNA, the DNA creates RNA, from the RNA you have protein. And when you think about the things that oh, once the protein is uh, generated, it stays as it is, but this is not correct. Protein, after the, the, the RNA is translated into protein, they get modified by many small modifications. For example, one of the most famous modifications is the addition of acetyl group. group. It's, a, it's a small chemi chemical group. Why it's important? It just to give you the, the impression, let's say that you, are, you weight 70 kilograms, okay, and you are a protein, and acetyl means that I add you only 72 grams. And once I add this 72 grams to 70 kilograms, I completely change your behavior. So it's like, it's like an on and off uh, plug that determines like where the protein will go, when it's deactive and so on. So when I said, so in CO2 in, in general, and CERT6 particularly, regulate the removal of this acetyl group. This is the enzymatic activity of it. And by this, it's controlled many proteins the activity of many proteins. So this is the biochemistry behind 36. Now people may, probably if, I, if I, you ask somebody in the street, he wouldn't, it's not really interesting in the biochemistry of 36, right? He's asking what really 36 is doing after it's removing this acetyl group. So what 36 is doing is in, it's first, it exists in every single cell of it. It's in the nucleus, it's, it's exists in every cell of, the, of your body, you have 36. The, the question is what CERT6 is doing now. So CERT6 regulates many things. It regulates first transcription of the specific genes. This is one thing of CERT6 is doing. Most of these genes are important for metabolism. So this is one important role of CERT6. Another role of CERT6 that is doing, it regulates the metabolism of, of glucose and the metabolism of fat metabolism. And by this, I mean that CERT6, for example, is regulating what's called Warburg effect. Now, what is the Warburg effect? Warburg effect means that cancer cell, once it's become a tumor, is using more glucose than other tissue. Why is doing it? Because it needs, you have a different metabolic pathway and you need to, to use a lot of glucose for, for, for this metabolic pathway in order to grow. CERT6 act at its tumor suppressor and repress this pathway of cancer that called the Warburg effect. This is one way that CERT6 is doing. Another thing that CERT6 is doing, it's regulating fat metabolism. What do I mean by regulating fat metabolism? It's regulating first the production of triglycerides and cholesterol. And when I say regulate, I mean negatively regulate. So it's, when you have higher level of CERT6, you have lower level of cholesterol, lower level of uh, triglycerides. It's induced better oxidation of fat. Better, uh, better oxidation of fat meaning burning of fat. Mm -hmm. So you burn the fat and you create energy. And it's using it later in cases when you don't have enough energy. For example, when you're old, when you're running, when you're fasting, in all these conditions, you don't have enough energy. So cell six, what it's doing is, is producing novel ways or, or change the metabolism of the body that now it can create sugar from other sources and use your fat to create energy. So it's another thing that cell six is doing. And it's also, so it's regulate, it also regulates your activity. I can give you a long list of phenotypes that we have once you overexpress cell six, if you, if you like. 